Well, I think, you know, um, that's, that's important on any SEC football team is having some depth inside. Um, I think right now, we, you know, we've got five or six guys we feel like that are going to be able to help us in a game. We were talking about the other day, he's doing a really good job just mentally uh, compared to where he was in the spring uh, coming in the fall camp mentally. He's, he's doing a really nice job and he's playing faster. So that's a great sign that mentally he's getting this assignment because once you know your assignment, you can play fast. Mm -hmm. So he's playing a lot faster. We're still working hard on his technique as we are with all of them, but that'll continue to come. The more reps you get, the muscle memory, you understand what we're trying to get accomplished. But I've been uh, very pleased so far with where he is mentally compared to where he was in the spring. It, for me personally, some of the places that I've been, um, he's got really, really good size and strength for a freshman coming in. You know, uh, he's got like a, a junior body yeah. right now as a freshman. So that certainly helps. So for him, you know, just developing um, the mental part and that's coming. I feel like he's doing a good job with that. I think, I think DJ Wanham is a really good player. He's a special guy. Uh, he's got, he can set the edge for us. He can rush the passer. You know, I was with the Jets for two years, and when I look at his body type, I look at his athleticism, he was better than some of the guys I felt like that we had up there. I think he's got a lot of potential. He could be special for us. What just um, motivates Yvonne? I know one of the things that Coach Muschamp's message has been, and my message in my room, one of my preseason camps, is be where your feet are. Yeah. And so your feet right now here at the University of South Carolina, let's have a great senior year. Because if you have a great senior year and, 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 and we, we do great things here, all of that other stuff will happen. It'll come like it's supposed to. So I don't know if he's focusing on that. I think he's focusing on doing something they haven't done here in a long time and being an extremely dominant guy for this football team and uh, in this conference. There's not many 6'6", six, six, you know, 300 plus pound guys that uh, have his athleticism and he's really strong and he's got something that only God can give you, extremely long arms so he can separate off blockers uh, with quick twitch. I mean, you know, if you, if you had to draw up the, type, the body type for that league, I mean, that's the body type, you know. You know, uh, with my time with the Jets, we had Leonard Williams, 6'6". Six, six, <coughs> 310-pound guy with that type of athleticism. I mean, those are the type body types that you draw up. Kobe, the way he practices, you know, we've had, we're four days in and we've said something about him every day as a defensive staff as doing things the right way or playing blocks the right way, you know, or, or taking on a double team. I mean, that's, that's one of the most unselfish plays that helps your football team. He had a, several of those yesterday teach tech, you know, mm -hmm. so doing those type of things. And now you got the younger guys like Zach and Rick and looking at that picture and that model of how we want to be. Uh, you know, I went and looked at his notebook yesterday and he's one of the most descriptive guys I've seen drawing it up, saying what you say word for word and just taking notes. And I showed it to the young guys. Take a look at this. This is how you take notes. So just, I think he may not be the most vocal guy, but he does a nice job of leading by example, leading by taking notes, leading by how he practices. So, you know, I, I think that's what sometimes one of the most effective ways to lead. It's not what you say, it's what you do. You know, uh, Rick, second year in the program, you know, played early on. You know, we're, we're all anticipating him uh, being, being a great factor in what we do. You know, he's got that experience. Uh, Rick is, is a strong physical kid, and so we're, we're going to need him. We're going we're to need Rick. So, I mean, we have high expectations for Rick and, and Zach and that whole group. You know, the more depth we can have, the better we're going to be. Um, Devontae is, is, a, is a young man that can be a, uh, he can be a physical guy. Uh, he's strong in his lower body. Uh, he's, he's one of those guys you just got to continue uh, to, to, to learn the game a little bit and uh, knock a little bit of the rust off, and he's doing that. So I think once he, once he gets it more, uh, continue getting it mentally and working on the technique, uh, but he's got some core strength there. Joe, Joe is coming along. He, he, did, he had, a, uh, had, a, had a good summer. Uh, his body's starting to fill out physically, and, uh, you know, um, he, he's doing a nice job. I, I, think, I think we've seen him grow uh, mentally. He's grown physically, and um, he's starting to get it, starting to come along for us.